Hey football family, just want to give you another update. Um, of course, you've heard about the game, um, just on some ticket stuff. They're going to allow 20% into the game. They've given us 300 tickets, and so tickets are a problem. What we're going to be able to do is give everybody on the team two tickets apiece, um, and then what that will allow some parents and some uh, won't be able to come and some of the, the guys won't use their tickets and they'll be able to trade it. So hopefully we can get everybody that wants to come to the game into the game. Um, there won't be any tailgating. You'll have to wear a mask. You'll have to sit in, in you know groups with just yourself or whatever. But it does give you the chance to come to the game if you want to come and uh, certainly feel great about that. It will be televised. I know regionally for sure KFES Channel 12 has picked the game up you know, along with ESPN uh, 360 or whatever. So just wanted to catch up to you guys on that. Uh, one other thing I wanted to talk about was a car wash that we did this Saturday and brag on your kids a little bit. Uh, this is one of the initiatives that the team came up with out of all the social injustice stuff that was going on and about how we can try and add value to this situation. We learned that there's just one African-American cop in the city of Cape out of 85 and just don't feel like that's representation of our community. Of course, you don't need to be black to be a good police officer, but we do feel like the police force need to represent our community and so we need more diversity there. One of the issues the police have is funding the academy. Uh, the academy costs $5,500 to go through be, um, to even be able to be a police officer. And so we set out to try to sponsor a young lady that's a single mom that's going through the academy right now. And uh, the goal was to raise $5,500. And we actually raised uh, enough money for two scholarships. So way, well above $5,500 were like uh, twelve thousand dollars we raised and that's not easy to do it takes a lot of effort to get done and, and those guys did a great job and it was a great community event this saturday and some guys here in town ended up writing some checks to get us to that number so very thankful um and you know it's pretty cool to come alongside and, and help people so um good job red hawks Today's our first practice. Uh, we'll get everybody back. Uh, we we'll, should be more at full strength by the end of the week, but we're good enough to start practicing, and now we're gonna try to get after it. Of course, three weeks is short, but it's enough that I feel confident in getting these guys in condition uh, to play a game. And I'm excited. I'm excited to just see what the 2020-21 team is gonna be all about. And, um, certainly feel good about our talent level. We just got to, um, you know, get good at connecting with each other and get good at winning a football games. So it's going to be a lot of fun. I appreciate you. Appreciate your support and the opportunity to coach your sons.